Yeah, I'm Parama Kukutai. Um, I'm a New Zealander. Ngāti Maniapoto, Ngāti Tipa, Te Opori. Um, and I'm the CEO of uh, the world's leading indoor farming company, Plenty. Typically, vertical farming is really the, the next evolution on from greenhouse technology, so we're typically growing plants, in our case uh, quite a diverse range, so leafy vegetables, fruit like berries, strawberries in particular, but also tomatoes, um, so fruiting crops that are perishable, that consumers, people like to eat fresh, the fresher the better, um, and we're growing them in uh, literally a vertical structure. So in our case, you know, as high as 30 feet or 10 meters up in the air. And um, with a fraction of the water, so we use 5% roughly of the water that's used outside. So in, a, in crops that are very much grown in areas that are prone to drought, that's a huge advantage. Growing anywhere, so because we're growing inside without the sun, we're using LED technology to provide the basis for photosynthesis. We can put our farms pretty much anywhere where there's a town water supply and access to some power and you know to people who come in and work within the farm and we are able to do this um, you know pretty much year round without using pesticides or herbicides without having to wash the produce so it's really beyond organic in terms of the quality of the produce um, and with you know, longer shelf life better flavor and freshness so, you know, there's a lot of things to like about it, and maybe one of the big factors here is we're not really impacted by climate change, so it's also a means of getting you know, new, new types of food security. So we have a lot of interest in our technology. We're based in the US um, on the west coast in California, but we're getting a lot of interest around, our, around the world for our technology, particularly in places that have to import um, their food in. So anywhere you know, very hot like the Middle East, um, very humid like all of Asia, can't grow the types of crops that we grow even outdoors or even in greenhouses. So there's been more than five billion US dollars of investment go into the whole sector in the last five years. So it's an area that's attracting a lot of interest for probably obvious reasons. And you know, we're, um, we recently raised uh, you know, 400 million US dollars to invest in investment in our company, including from the world's biggest retailer, Walmart, um, to you know, build more farms.